Hey folks, it's Carrie Emmy. I just wanted to end my YouTube hiatus of sorts to add my voice to the It Gets Better campaign of videos that have been going around here on YouTube in response to the recent tragic suicides of gay teens um, that have been bullied. They've felt that that was their way out of escaping bullying. Now, I know that I am I am not gay, but I've always been a very proud supporter of the gay and lesbian community, and I have been the victim of bullying myself, because although I'm not gay, there is something about me that's very different. You may or may not have heard me mention before that I was born with a chromosomal disorder called Turner Syndrome, which causes me to have very short stature among other medical problems that I've dealt with all my life. And although I'm kind of average height now, there are plenty of women my height, but I was supernaturally tiny when I was a kid. And I had my first open heart surgery when I was four years old. So imagine entering elementary school with a huge keloid on your chest. So you're really small and you got a huge keloid on your chest. Plus you wear glasses. It's like hello, walking target, right? And you wouldn't think that it would be a big deal, but it was, at least in, in my elementary school growing up in Brooklyn, New York, it was a big deal. And people were just like torch-wielding villagers like in uh, Frankenstein, you know? And gosh, you know, I've been, I've been spit on from school buses. I've had my glasses spit on. I've had people shout midget at me like a racial epithet. And it got even worse in junior high. I remember there were these two boys, we were in homeroom, and they were like, wait, wait, I can't see Carrie. Oh, oh, there she is. And they like pretended to kill me like an ant. Like I was an ant on the table in, in homeroom. And once I was uh, putting on some lipstick before we, we left for school in afternoon homeroom, and they were like, what are you putting lipstick on for? Nobody looks at you. <laughs> and, you know, so, and that's just uh, a smattering of the kind of stuff that I dealt with. But suffice it to say, it was an issue. And I would say it lasted, it lasted up until high school. And I echo what Zipster said. When I graduated high school, it was like, holla freaking Luya. Because when I went to college, you know, at least people were somewhat adults and, you know, it, it, it wasn't really an issue then. But it, com it comes up every once in a while. Uh, you know, I remember uh, I, ha I had a friend when I was in graduate school and I met his girlfriend for the first time and she was like, oh, she's so cute. And, you know, and I, I went to a deli the other day with a friend of mine and it was like community seating and I finished my pastrami sandwich and this girl was like, you finished all of that, you little chicken wing? But now I just, now I just laugh. I go, yep, yep, I finished it and I was hungry. So, I, you're, you might be wondering where you're going with all this. But my point is that I completely understand what it's like to grow up different. You know, I can't change my chromosomes for people and nor should I have to. You shouldn't have to change who you love, who you're attracted to. If that's what's in your heart, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong or shameful or blasphemous about being gay. So it really does get better. I never thought I would get to the point where I've taught college level psychology courses. I make these videos. I never thought I'd have the confidence. So it really does get better. And eventually you will get to a point where in your heart and the people that you meet will become intelligent enough to understand that different doesn't equal bad. Different just equals different. It's just a variation of life. And I just wanted to make this video to add my voice 
out there so that people, whoever you are, wherever you are, know that there's at least, but there's so much more, but there's at least one person in the world that understands you and knows that you're not alone and is a person that you can talk to if you ever feel the need to. All right, so I have rambled on for quite enough. I think I've said my piece. I wish you all a lovely, lovely weekend, and I hope everyone's well.